So the NMDA receptor encephalitis study, we just took a look at the national VA population and we wanted to see in the past five years, which is sort of the period of time when, when it's uh, been a really commonly recognized uh, diagnosis, uh, how many veterans have been diagnosed with NMDA receptor encephalitis. And we found three veterans, uh, perhaps not surprisingly all male, even though NMDA receptor encephalitis is less common in male, the veteran population is obviously um, skewed in the direction of more men. Um, so we did find three men. Um, and what struck us when we were going over the data is how challenging this diagnosis probably is to make in this population. Uh, because when you're looking at a veteran population, especially perhaps post-deployment, um, you have, we're so in tune and concerned about any psychiatric impact um, or did they have any traumatic brain injury which could have perhaps, you know, been resulted in uh, epilepsy or things like that. And as you know, when you're diagnosing NMDA receptor encephalitis in adults, often the presenting uh, symptom is a psychiatric one. And so we were really struck by the fact that we do have to continue to be very vigilant in the veterans to make sure not to misattribute a psychiatric symptom uh, potentially to their deployment or other high-risk situations that our veterans are in uh, to unmask psychiatric concerns.